Hi everyone, welcome back to another video with Wonderful Boys. Today, I'm still in Abu Dhabi and the hotel that I'm staying in today is the W Abu Dhabi. This hotel is situated on Yes Island and in fact it is directly beside the Yes Marina circuit which holds the inaugural Formula 1 GP. This hotel also has a complimentary shuttle to various attractions like the Warner Brothers World, Ferrari World as well as the Yes Mall. So getting around is actually fairly convenient. We've also booked the uh, Fabulous Suite, which is really massive. It's about 110 square meters in total floor size and has an expansive living room, as you can see in the uh, where I am right now, and also a separate bedroom. It also has a bathroom, which actually overlooks uh, the uh, racetrack. So as we are on the second floor, I would say that the view is fairly obstructed, but there is a really large balcony and so lots of uh, sunlight, which actually comes into the room and you can actually have a nice um, area to actually walk around. So we're also going to show you uh, later on the uh, facilities that the hotel has to offer like the uh, fitness center which is 24 hours and also the uh, pool which is on the top of the hotel. We're also going to show you the breakfast at the garage which is uh, the uh, international uh, cuisine restaurant of the hotel on the ground floor. So if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please consider doing so by hitting the subscribe button just below here so that you'll be notified when we have uh, new content coming out. So if not, let's proceed with this sweet tour. Okay, so this is the fabulous suite and this is the entrance of the suite. So basically this is a large area here and you can see behind I'm actually from another room. If you book a, another twin bedroom, you can actually have like so-called connecting room. So like once again, this is the uh, entrance way. It's uh, not much to do here. Maybe you can put your shoes over here and put some of your belongings on this table. Right, so moving on, on your right hand side, there's this, uh, I would say a mini pantry. If you want to have a look, it's quite interesting because there's a basin. These are the, uh, the teas and also a microwave. Very handy if you want to you know, do a quick meal. So if you go further into the room, this is basically the entire living space. It's massive. And immediately here, this is the work desk, which I find it quite nice because there is um, some power, a lot of power sockets as well as some HDMI port for you to connect to the television. So you can portray your work or movies and you can watch it on a television in the living room. So very handy. And behind me is actually where the mini bar is. And as you can see, it's fully stocked mini bar. But be careful if you take anything from the mini fridge, it's automatically charged to your room. So just be careful. Look at the price list. You can scan it here. It costs a bit too much, I feel. But yeah, there's complimentary water bottles here, as well as an espresso machine and six capsules. You can request for more if you wish. Cups are below. So let's move on to the next part. And this is the other half of the uh, living space. As you can see here, Let's first talk a little bit about the uh, guest bathroom, which is on your left hand side here. I would say it's fairly spacious. There is a nice basin, a vanity area and a WC. So very handy for your guests if you don't want them to use the main bathroom. So right next to it is actually where the uh, living space is, the sofa. I would say the sofa fits about three person. It's uh, not very much. I mean, there's lots of space here, but there's only one small sofa on this side. So here is the uh, coffee table, nothing too fancy, I would say rather nice. And, um, and basically this uh, suite is on the second floor. So what it means is that you actually have uh, the shelter way which is in front, which actually obstructs the uh, so-called view of the racetrack on the other side and also the marina on the other side over there. But nonetheless, I think it's quite nice. But if you want to watch the uh, Formula One or race on the racing track, then you won't be able to see much, all right? Television here, it's good sized, and let's head into the bedroom. So the bedroom is also very, very spacious. I love it that actually the tiles are all like a black marble, very nice. And one thing that I didn't mention earlier is that the remote control can actually control the uh, curtains, the day and night curtains, which is, I think, quite nice. If you don't want to use the remote control, you can select on this uh, panel here, the curtains, open or close. You can choose a do not disturb signs here, 
and the light switches are also controlled by here as well as the air conditioning. So very handy. So television here is a little bit smaller size as compared to the one in front. More water. And over here is where the bed is. You can see it's a nice king-sized bed. All the suites only have a king-sized bed. And um, I would say the W Hotel the beds are always very comfortable. So looking forward to sleep on it. The basic table, fairly simple. The only light switch available here is for the toilet, right? And a telephone. So fairly simple. And again, the view is rather obstructed. If you book a suite on a higher floor, because this room, I guess, because it was free upgrade, so they gave us the lowest floor one and it's not obstructed. But if you have a higher floor, you can actually look at the race track. The view is quite nice and there's a race going on right now. All right, so let's head on to the other side, which is the uh, wardrobe area. So the suite is actually massive, but the, I find that the wardrobe area is really small, especially when I have lots of things. So over here, you can see that there are some hangers, lots of hangers here some um, bath ropes, slippers, the uh, extra blanket is available and also the hair dryer. So this is where you can put your luggage and also a safe that's available. So lastly, the bathroom, which is, I, I love it, right? So let's go. Right, so this is the bathroom and you can see immediately on your left hand side is a double vanity, which I always appreciate. You have a his and her space here. And um, here are the bathroom amenities in the middle. It's a really complete set. You know, you have the moisturizer, vanity kit, dental kit. There's a scrub that's available as well. So it's always really nice here to come to W. And the, the towels are on the side over here. And um, on your right hand side is actually where the, both the WC as well as the shower area is. So where I am is a huge shower area, standing shower with um, rain shower on top there. And also the handheld shower. And I love that they came in huge bottles like this. It's so good, and I don't know if the, um, the non-suite rooms have a large or small bottle, so I'll let you know at the end of the video. And on this side here is a WC, nothing too fancy, no heated bidet, but I guess it's fine. No heated, no heated toilet seat, sorry. So let's go further inside, and this is actually where the uh, bathtub is. So this is one of the um, only three suites here which has a bathtub with a view, although we have an obstructed view. But nonetheless, it's always nice to have uh, sunlight coming in when you have the soap, although now it's a little bit too hot, all right? So the other bathrobe is over here, more towels are available. So there's one thing that I actually did not mention about is the balcony, there's a huge balcony here. If you look at outside, you actually overlook the, our balcony, our private balcony on that side. And um, come, let's have a look at the balcony, how big the balcony is. Okay, so head back outside. And, um, you can access the balcony through four doors. So come, it's going to be a bit noisy because there's a race going on. And you can see, right, the balcony actually covers the entire like a perimeter of the uh, suite. So come on, let's go. This will take you from the um, so-called bathroom area to the bedroom. And now we're going to the living space. So you can see it's actually fairly spacious. Lots more space behind. I don't know what you're going to do in this balcony. But I think at night it's going to be really cold. We're in the winter season here in Abu Dhabi. So yeah, come, let's go inside. The door is also fairly heavy. So here we are back inside the uh, living room area. In this suite, once again, is about 110 square meters in total size. And um, I would say it's very nice, very, very modern, very trendy. So we're going to show you the facilities of this hotel, like the swimming pool, as well as a fitness center and also breakfast tomorrow at the garage, which is the re main restaurant of the hotel. So I'll see you later. This property has two rooftop pools. The first is a family pool, which is fairly large, and you can get some good laps in. The second is an adult only pool, which is much smaller. There is a bar located on the lower deck and it's a great location to hang out. Both pool decks serve food and beverages, which you can order anytime in the day. The fitness center has treadmills overlooking the marina. A good selection of strength training equipment are also available. All right, good morning. So we're now having breakfast here at the restaurant called The Garage, which is on the ground floor of the hotel. So it is a full buffet spread. There are lots of options for you to choose from. The place is fairly nice. There is a choice of indoor seating or outdoor where I am at right now. And if you sit outdoors, you can actually overlook the track and the marina. So it's really quite beautiful. So basically when you sit down, they will ask you what kind of beverage you want, coffee or tea. Uh, they are from the dispenser. 
And um, there are also other beverages like the fruit juices over here, the watermelon juice. Our smoothie of the day today is banana and mango. And also, this is the coffee. So, we can move on to talk about the food items. Basically, the eggs you have to order from the table. They have all kinds of eggs that you can choose from, like omelettes, scrambled eggs, and even this uh, eggs benedict in this plate over here. We have uh, basically poached eggs with hollandaise sauce and a turkey bacon on this side. So, you can add on the sides like the hash browns, um, turkey bacon, as well as the uh, potatoes, grilled potatoes, the tomatoes, and lots of options also available. There's also an Asian selection, if you like that. In this plate here, we have the, the noodles. This is a shrimp, uh, sambal shrimp. There is a seafood, a siumai, the wadai, and also uh, some uh, bread here. If you like the uh, Middle Eastern food, there's a good selection, although I'm not so, I don't really know how to eat those food. So this is the shakshuka, which is an egg, which is I think quite nice, tomato based. And also we have a pastry plate over here. I always really love the pastries at the W properties because they're always really good. I can see there's some Danish pastries, English muffins, waffles. There's also pancakes that's available and um, other muffins. You can also end off the breakfast with some fruits over here. Again, there's a lot, a wide range of fruits, like in this case a strawberry mixed fruit bowl, a passion fruit as well as we have also dragon fruit that's available. So that's all that we actually took for, for now. And there's actually a lot more options to choose from, just that I don't think you can, you can finish them. So yeah, I'm going to dig in for the breakfast. It's between 6.30 to 10.30 in the morning. So I will probably see you later when I summarize the entire video. Okay, so I'm just about to check out for my stay here at the W Abu Dhabi on the Yas Island. So I'm going to give a quick summary about this stay. So first of all, I would like to talk a little bit about the location. We're actually on Yas Island, which is actually pretty far away from downtown Abu Dhabi. It's actually right beside the um, Yas Marina circuit. So it can get real noisy at night because the, the track is sometimes occupied by uh, some races. So do keep in mind that even after 10 p.m. there might still be sound of the cars going around. And um, the location-wise, there is a shuttle, a bus, which actually brings you around Yes Islands to different hotels, as well as the Yes Mall, which is a pretty big mall with lots of dining options and shopping options as well. And also the uh, Yes Bay and the Yes Marina. And I would say that the shuttle takes quite a long time because it goes from stops to stops. So it might be a while before you can actually get to your destination and it can get really crowded depending on the season. So back to the hotel, this hotel is a typical W hotel. Um, everything good about W hotel is, is, is in here. It feels like a resort actually, away from the uh, city area. And the theme is actually quite nice. Everything is just very, very trendy here. And the room, as you can see, uh, the fabulous uh, suite, which is, is really big. And the living space itself is a very nice curvature. It's separate from the bedroom area. And really there's lots of space. I would say that there's a lot of space wastage. You could have done more stuff around here. But I think it's perfect for a large family or a group gathering. It would be quite nice. And there's also uh, the bedroom, which actually overlooks the so-called circuit. But we're on the lower floor. So we're actually blocked by the, um, the structure of the building. Uh, but that's okay because uh, we're not here for the race. We're actually here just for the, uh, for the room, which is actually pretty nice. So the bathroom is also pretty nice. They have a bathtub which overlooks um, the, the, the racetrack. And uh, it is quite nice, I feel. And um, also we had a look at the swimming pool. There are two pools. One which is the uh, so-called family pool. They call it the, uh, I think it's the sun deck. And um, basically there is a, a pool area which is for kids. It's meant mainly to do some swimming. And the other pool is the uh, wet deck, which is a lot smaller. It's just there to you know enjoy the atmosphere, maybe get a dip, uh, not so ideal for swimming. The fitness center is 24 hours, it's really massive, and in the daytime, it has really good views of the marina. So we can talk a little bit about the breakfast. The breakfast is a full buffet, you can choose to sit indoors, which is nice, or outdoors, even better. But we're in the winter season, so it gets a little bit chilly in the morning. And if it's not chilly, the sun, if there's a sun, then it gets really uh, quite hot. So it's up to you where you're going to choose. There's a lot of things that you can actually choose from to, to eat. And there's also like I would say Asian food, Middle Eastern food, Indian food, and, and also of course the typical American breakfast. So nothing much to complain there. So that's pretty much it for my stay here at uh, W Abu Dhabi, Yes Island. And overall it's a great stay. If you do enjoy this video, do remember to give it a like and also hit the subscribe button just below here. It will help us a lot. 
And also we have a lot more content like this on your right hand side just over there. So do check them out. If not, I will see you in the next video. Bye.